Okay, so here we have the integral x cubed times x to the fourth plus seven to the fifth power dx. Pause the video, give this a try on your own, and see what you get. Okay, so this integral itself, does it need use up? Uh, does it need substitution? The answer is no, because you could technically multiply this out five times, but you don't want to do that. Instead, we notice that this is a composite function. We have x to the fourth plus seven being raised to the fifth power. So if we let that be u, so we let u be x to the fourth plus seven, it will depend on what du is, okay? du, just derivative, as uh, 4x cubed dx, okay? Compare this du with what we have in integrand, okay? We have the x cubed, but we don't have the four. This type of situation is perfectly fine. If you are missing the four, just divide it over. So that du over four, equals to x cubed dx. That way, x cubed dx will be replaced by du over four, x to the fourth plus seven will be replaced by u. So this integral becomes u to the fifth times, well, du over four. Four is a constant that can go outside the integral, so that's one fourth, the integral of u to the fifth du. And now this is a perfectly fine integral for us to use the power rules on. Okay. 1 over 4, add 1 to the power, u to the 6, divided by 6, okay, plus c. Simplify, you have u to the 6, divided by 24, plus c. Do not stop here. If you stop here, you forget to go back to the original. Your problem started with x. Make sure you go back to x. So your final answer is x to the fourth plus seven raised to the sixth power divided by 24 plus c. And that's it. Do not make the mistake of integrating these two separately. Okay, this is not, you cannot integrate products separately. And just be careful with your choice of u. Okay, make sure you know how to take the derivative and then make sure you know what to do after you get the derivative. Try to match your integral with what you have for du. And that's it for this example.